And we are live. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Colorado Avalanche and Tampa Bay Lightning. It is another elimination game here tonight. Colorado not able to close it out at home, so here we are in Tampa for Game 6, and the Lightning will be looking for another big win to force a seventh game. In Colorado, obviously still one win away from winning the Stanley Cup. A massive game here tonight as we are late in this series, and we're going to find out if there will be a winner-take-all seventh game or if the Cup is awarded tonight. But welcome in, everybody. Thank you guys all so much for being here. It's awesome to have you in the chat. We're still a little ways away from puck drop, but it is going to be a fun, fun night. We got Rox, Fabian, Tony, Leviathan, Dan, uh, Austin, Randy, Noob Plays, Rangers fan, Natalie, Cap, Logic, Jack, Nikki, Sasha, uh, Daredevil, Nick, Lost Anchor, Porfirio, Derek, Welcome in. Christian, welcome in. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Good to see you all in the chat. Really, really appreciate it. We are getting ready to go here for game stick of the Stanley Cup Finals. It might be my final game stream of this season. We'll find out here over the next three hours or so. Higgy, what's going on? Welcome in. Sonino, welcome. Kyle, uh, welcome in. Thank you guys all for being here. Avi, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Big Tone, what's going on? Welcome. Uh, Porter, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. Really appreciate it. Um, we got everybody in tonight already. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be a fun one. We'll see if the cup gets awarded or if uh, we have another game coming up on Tuesday. Uh, Chase, what's going on? Kalena, welcome in. Thank you guys both for being here. Really appreciate it. I got to get the poll up in the chat. Uh, Red Rubber, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Joey, what's going on, man? Awesome to see you as always. Got to get the poll up now so you guys can start getting your votes in. Get over a thousand votes in the poll last stream. Uh, Avalanche are on the road this time. Lightning are at home. So obviously Tampa here trying to win on home ice to force that all winner take all game seven. And Avalanche trying to finish things off here. We are getting close about 15 minutes away from puck drop here. Carlito, welcome in. Good to see you in the chat. AJ, what's going on? Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you in the chat. Appreciate it. Fool in the Rain, welcome in. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming by. We are getting ready for the drop of the puck here and uh, excited for this one to start. Absolutely should be a great game. Uh, what's going on, Bruins fan? Welcome in. Kristen, welcome in. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Awesome to have you all in the chat, as always, as we get ready to get into the action here. Yeah, I mean, this is... I just... I It's hard for me to see the Lightning losing the cup on home ice. Like, I... They obviously have lost home games, but not elimination games. It's hard for, I, I, man, I, I just feel like the Lightning with the experience that they have, I don't think they're going to lose an elimination game on home ice. I, I, I really do feel like this probably goes seven. This, I, I, I think Tampa is going to get it done at home and then it's all going to come down to the last game. Um, I just, I think a team that's that experienced that has won the past two years, I don't see I could see them losing but not losing the entire cup on home ice. I just I think they protect home ice better than that. But we'll have to see how it goes, but obviously that's just a pull out pr uh prediction there, but we'll see. Jeff, what's going on? Islanders big fan. Byron, welcome in. Uh John Wilkes Booth, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat.
Garrett, what's going on? Good to see you here. Pan, welcome in. Thanks for coming by. Josh, welcome in. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. All right, we still got a ways to go before they actually drop the puck here. So it'll be a bit until the game actually starts. Um, hey, it should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. Um, as you would think, this late in the playoffs, every game would be. Justin, what's going on? Welcome in. Zarbian, good to see you. Dwight, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Good to have you in the chat. Raji Ghost, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, hey, Veggie Vet, what is going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, I have no idea what the score is going to be. I'm not even going to waste my time attempting that. M Plays, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we are ready to go. It is going to be a fun night of action here. And uh, These two teams, with everything on the line, they know what needs to be done. Hey, Marinello, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, Cody, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. Brandon, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Ruth, welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, hey, w w Bruins fan, I can't wait till puck drop, dude. Wait till puck drop. Hey, Daniel, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, it was pretty good, Austin. For very solid day today. Um, yeah, no, exact chase. You're hundred percent right about that. Um, they Colorado cannot play a hesitant game. They cannot sit back. They've got to be, get, they've got to get their speed game going. They got to be rushing it up and down the ice, playing Colorado style hockey. Um, and if they can do that, then, you know, obviously they can beat anybody in the league when they play that way, but they got to come out ready to go and play Colorado-style hockey up and down the ice, speed game, and uh, they got a good shot. How to, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, he Bob, what's going on? All right, I think we're back. My internet went out, so I think it's back working now, but we'll find out. I don't know how long it will stay working. But uh, just in time for the anthem and the start, which we're still waiting on. Good, I didn't have to spew a bunch, waste a bunch of time at the start like I usually do. Uh, we can get right into the game, thank God. Uh, so they're going to do the national anthem here, and then uh, and then it's going to be puck drop time, and we're going to see who wins. So we'll get cheers in the chat. Hopefully we get a great game tonight. It could be the last one potentially, um, but we'll have to wait and find out. Uh, Tampa, Colorado should be coming up here right after the national anthem, which is... Uh, gonna be starting right about now and then we are ready to go so cheers everybody and uh, ready to go uh, hopefully this game just starts soon because I'm uh, I'm ready for some actual gameplay here
Uh, JV wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. I, I mean, game seven overtimes in the finals are always crazy. Um, always wild games, but uh, we got to worry about tonight first because uh, there isn't going to be a game seven if Colorado wins tonight. Um, Finishing up the anthem now, and then we're going to be getting into it. Hey, Ramana, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome in, everybody, and it is about ready to go here. Darcy Kemper in goal for Colorado. Obviously, Andre Vasilevsky down at the other end. And... We've got it again. Here we go. Lining up now at center ice. Goaltenders are ready. And we are about to drop the puck on game number six. Neutral zone face off. And it's one back now. Game six has begun. Colorado takes the opening face off. They dump it into the offensive zone. Working it around, down in the corner. Avalanche heavy on the forecheck. Out in front, early save from Vasilevsky on McKinnon. What a great start there, just over 10 seconds in. Colorado with an awesome opportunity, but Vassy makes the save. Back down the other way now. We already got a penalty call, and it is going to be interference. And that did not take long. Tampa Bay is going to go to the power play here, less than 30 seconds in. Already a penalty against the Avalanche, and Tampa is going to the power play as Kale McCarr heads off for interference. And he knocks down Brandon Hagel from behind before the puck ever gets there, right in front of the referee. Puck was still like 20 feet away, and he knocks him down. Working it around now, around the boards, Colorado trying to clear. Perry keeps it in. Tampa's setting up in the offensive zone. Down in the corner. Backhanded off glass. Chipped around by Palat. Perry keeps it in. Colorado trying again. Here's Helm with it. He's going to go hard off glass and out to the neutral zone all the way down. Taken by Hedman. Hedman plays it back into the offensive end for Tampa Bay. Still a minute 35 to go on their power play. Worked out there. Colorado clears it again all the way down. Tampa's got to try and regroup here. We're one minute into the first scoreless start, but an early power play here for the Lightning. Trying to move it up. Taking over. Here's Perry. Spins that one around the boards. Trying to take it from the corner. That's lifted out to the blue line. Long shot deflected in. And Colorado's going to clear again as they send that down the ice. Played here by Vasilevsky. Tampa's going to regroup. 53 seconds left on the power play for the Lightning. Colorado trying to kill off this early penalty. Moving it up through the middle. Down in the corner. Here's Paul. He takes a hit from Taves. Digging for it now along the end boards. Played up the boards. Taken by Pat Maroon. Maroon cycles it around. Played here in the corner. Back out high. Top of the circle, Ross Colton back over to Sergachev. Sergachev with it now, 23 seconds to go on the power play. Trying to work this one around. Taken here by Kalorn. Hey, Jeff, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get that new sub hype in the chat for Jeff. Welcome to the channel. Played all the way down. Cogliano blocked that shot. He's hobbled going back to the bench, but that pretty much killed off the power play. And it's back to even strength now. Tampa Bay unsuccessful on the early power play opportunity. It remains 0-0. We are back into the offensive zone. Down in the corner. Here's Hagel. He gets knocked down, gets back up, plays it to Chernak, to McDonough. Turned over, trying to go back to Chernak. Nachushkin dumps it in. And that one goes down, played here by McDonough. Going to work this one up through the middle. 
And knocked down in the neutral zone. Tampa trying to come up ice. Palat across. Taken, though, by Taves. Colorado regroups. They have possession again. Over to Byram. Byram up into the offensive end. And that does not connect. It's going to be icing. We get a whistle exactly three minutes in. And it will come back down to the avalanche zone. Ozone faceoff for the Lightning coming up. Tampa and Colorado still 0-0 early. Just three minutes in. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to all the new subs. Thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate it. We are early on in what could potentially be the final game of the season. We don't know yet. If Tampa wins, we have a game seven on Tuesday. As Kemper makes a good save there on Kucherov. And that one gets covered up. Kemper grabs it. And it will be another offensive zone faceoff for the Lightning. But Colorado's goaltender there. A uh, couple good saves early. Uh, Sassano, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Uh, GBP MVP, welcome in. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get some new sub hype in the chat. Give a warm welcome to the channel, the GBP. What's going on, Dan Ace? Welcome. Can now. And Stamkos is going to get kicked out of the faceoff dot here. Played down in the corner, lifted up all the way down, and taken by McDonough. 16.40 to go here in the first. Trying to put this one up. McKinnon knocks down his man. Colorado gets it back at neutral ice. Lightning step up on McKinnon. Tampa with it now. Here's Palat into the offensive zone. Over to Chernak. Chernak gets it deep. Kucherov down low, hit by McKinnon. They're battling for the puck below the goal line. And Tampa off a skate, and they score! It's Steven Stamkos puts the lightning up by one. And the first goal of the game belongs to the home team. Less than four minutes in, and Tampa has the lead. <laughs> And the lightning strike first as Colorado couldn't get the puck out of the zone. It goes off of a skate right back to Steven Stamkos who slides it through Darcy Kemper. And it is stammer time early in this one as the captain puts the lightning on top. His second goal of the series, he's 11th of the playoffs. And Tampa Bay is up by one. Good start here for the Lightning. Victoria, what's going on? Carmine, welcome in. What's going on, Balcony Club? And it's taken now up ice by Colorado. Through the middle is Byram. Off a skate, trying to get a shot off. Rolls in. Vasilevsky sticks it aside. Played back out high. That one goes all the way down. Played up into the offensive zone. Belmar drops it. Shot in there. Kemper makes a save. Rebound chance. And Colorado clears it from the top of the crease. Kemper did not control that rebound very well and almost gave the Lightning a second chance as Nachushkin backhands one high over the bar. Lightning trying to work it out. It's up to Maroon. Past him. Jack Johnson plays it back. Trying to take it up now. Over through the middle. Maroon has it. Back to Bogosian. Lightning are going to regroup in their own zone. Five minutes in. 15 minutes to go here in period number one. Uh, Zeppelin, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Let's get some new sub hype for Zeppelin, new subscriber to the channel. Trying to work it around now. 14.45 to go here in the first. Tampa Bay setting back up in the offensive zone. Ruda goes D to D. Long shot. Deflection. Nice save there by Kemper. That's a pad on that one as O'Connor takes it down low. Colorado having some issues getting the puck out of their end here. Tampa keeps that one in. Moved over to Ruda. He blasts one into Newhook who blocks the shot. Back now. Trying to work it around. High shot off glass. Ross Colton first to it. Colorado still can't get the puck out of their zone. Here's Sorelli. 
And he ends up turning it over, and Colorado will finally clear. Up ice now, trying to get it into the offensive end. Manson will just backhand it deep. Uh, Tino, what's going on? Welcome in. Worked around now. 14 minutes to go in a fast-moving first period. Stamkos pass over to Palat. Trying to get it back to Stamkos, but Kemper breaks it up. Cogliano up ice now for Colorado into the offensive zone. Here's Helm. And taken back by Sergachev in the corner. but the And he gets it up to Kucherov. Colorado couldn't intercept the pass. Moved up now into the offensive zone. Here's Bogosian. Poked away from him. Colorado clears it back to neutral ice. Trying to move this one over. Here's Lekkonen. And he can't maintain possession. Lightning dump it in. Played around to Makar on the far side. He gets away from one four checker. Over now to Taves. Over the red line. Into the offensive zone. Here comes Colorado. Lekkonen's long shot gets deflected to the sideboards. Taken here by McKinnon. McKinnon has it now being pressured. Throws it down low. Trying to get to it is Rantanen. Working it around. We got 13 minutes to go here in the first period. That one's lifted up and Tampa Bay clears it all the way down. Moved up now. Here's McKinnon. Feathers that one through. It goes wide to Vasilevsky, but it's played by the Avalanche as they set up in the offensive zone. Trying to work this one around. Aaron, what's going on? Welcome in. Out high there. Played down low. Taken by McKinnon over to Rantanen. Colorado still set up in the attacking zone out to the point. Played by Taves. He sends it deep. Hit by McDonough. Rantanen comes in to get it, though. Now here's Landeskog. And Tampa is able to clear before he can get to it. That one's back out of the zone. Colorado will have to regroup now. Landeskog brings it back in. He's knocked down. Taken behind down low by Riley Nash. He plays it over to Jan Ruda. Ruda backhands it up the boards, but doesn't get it out. Now it's taken again by the Lightning, and Hedman will skate it. He's through the neutral zone, into the offensive end, Tampa Bay. Played around now in the corner, Landeskog trying to get some help from Byram. Eventually it comes to Eric Johnson. Johnson goes off the boards and out of the zone. Tampa's got to regroup and neutralize. Played around down low. Lifted up the wall, taken by Nachushkin. Over the red line, dumped in, played it. And Tampa's going to send it right up the boards. Trying to get it out, but Newhook keeps it in. Crazy bounce out in front, but the Lightning are first to it. They clear it out of the danger area. Maroon with a good pass to Sorelli, and Sorelli's up to the red line. Taken now, Sergachev stolen away by O'Connor. Here's Colorado, Newhook. His shot attempt gets blocked. Trying to move it around now. Taking it out high, 11-10 to go in the first period. Long stretch of play here without any whistles. Good flow to the action here in the first period. Played down in the corner, taken by Perry. Backhanded, but Colorado keeps it in. It's Manson pinching. Second chance, Tampa does clear. They send it all the way down. Going back to get it is Jack Johnson. 10.50 to go in the first. Johnny, what's going on? Ted, welcome in. Appreciate everyone being here tonight. Thanks for watching as that one gets dumped in down low. Played here by Colorado. Out in the neutral zone. Spun back by Makar. He looks to make a play. Bad pass though. Trying to find Taves. Kucherov's all over him. Makar takes the puck back behind his own net. And Colorado here trying to break it out. It's around a couple of guys up to Lekkinen. Lekkinen with a cross-ice pass now into the offensive zone. Here's McKinnon with some speed, but he fans on the shot. Looks like Chernak got his stick in there and uh, interrupted his shot attempt. And Vasilevsky easily made the stop on that fluttering one. Cross corner now. Here's McDonough. He takes a hit. Lightning out of the zone. They clear it again up to Kucherov, who's stepped up on by Byram, and McKinnon takes the puck back. Colorado has it again. Trying to move it up. Long shot there. That one gets knocked down. Luke, what's going on? Welcome in. Played around here. Kadri backhanded up the boards. Taken down low. Cycle game going now. Colorado trying to keep it in the attacking zone. Nick Paul lifts it over everybody and clears, though. Knocked down by Hagel. He dumps it in for Tampa Bay. Down low it goes. 
Played by Nachushkin. 9.15 left. Here's another chance for the Lightning in front. Long shot just sent wide. Bogosian pinches to keep it in. Lightning on the attack. Now it's Kalorn out high. To the sideboards. Back to Kalorn. Working it down low. Here's Belmar. Belmar in the corner. Out to the blue line again. Long shot there. Deflected. Wide of Kemper. Bogosian plays it in the corner. Matt, what is going on? D-Wade, welcome in. KC, what's going on? Played up now. Icing against the Avalanche, and it will be an offensive zone faceoff coming for Tampa Bay. Avalanche iced the puck there. Hey, the dog, what's going on? Welcome in. Hemlock, good to see you. LT, welcome in. Simply, what's going on? Yeah, long stretch there of continuous play, Avi. Great flow to this game to start. As Kucherov's shot gets blocked, and that's cleared out by Colorado. Played up into the offensive end. Here's Palat, lightning back on the attack. Rimmed around the wall. Rantanen can't get it out. It's back in on Kemper. Devon Taves takes it from him. Backhands it off glass, and Colorado clears it all the way down. However, it is going to be an icing again against the Avalanche. And it will be another offensive zone faceoff for Tampa Bay with 8.16 to go in the first period. <sighs> Good start here for the Lightning. They have come ready to play tonight. Ace, what's going on? Michelle, welcome in. 8.16 to go. And that's one back to McCarr. Behind the net, trying to start the breakout now for Colorado. Joseph and Tyler welcome in. Moved up now into the offensive zone. Ranton in for Lekin in to McKinnon. Shot gets blocked. Great defensive play there for Tampa Bay. Los Hermanos, what's going on? 7.52 now to go as Tampa's back at the other end of the ice. Colorado doesn't let him keep it there. They clear it out to the neutral zone. Chernak was the one with that shot block on McKinnon. Dom, what's going on? Welcome in. Chernak is over at the bench shaking up. Seven and a half to go here in period number one. Tampa Bay with seven shots. Colorado with four. The Lightning lead 1-0 on the scoreboard. As it's taken by the Avalanche now in the neutral zone. Over to Nico Sturm. Sturm to Newhook in the corner. Newhook's checked by Sergachev. Sturm comes in to help along with Koffer. Back to Manson at the point. He goes D to D to Johnson. Long shot there. Getting a piece of it. Vasilevsky. And it's out of the zone. Cleared by Tampa Bay. Played down now. Vasi leaves it behind the net. Under seven minutes to go here in the first period. We still have not gone to a commercial yet in this game. We're down to less than seven minutes to go in the period. Alec, what's going on? Frank, welcome in. Wesley, welcome in. Moved over now. Taken in through the neutral zone. Landeskog to the offensive end. Colorado trying to work it around. That one's in front. Chance there. Vasilevsky with a great save. Good chance in front for Kadri. And it's taken by the Lightning as they come up ice. Moved up now. Good step up by Eric Johnson. Here's Kalorn with a hit on the forecheck. Trying to work it now. It's taken by Nachushkin. And Landeskog to Nachushkin. They're going to get it out of the zone. Dumped in around now. Six minutes to go here in the first. Mr. Martin, welcome in. Elio, welcome in. Appreciate it. Vernon, what's up, my man? Welcome. Taking it around now, here's Kucherov up to Helm. Out of the zone, cleared there, deflected up, and into the offensive zone. Colorado goes back on the forecheck, trying to tie this game up. Played here by Kucherov, back the other way. Here's Palat with some speed against Makar, moves it to the middle. Kucherov takes it to the corner, off of Taves skate, deflects out of the zone, and the Lightning have to regroup again. Moved up now. Stamkos with it. He's the goal scorer in this game. 
Rims that one around, but Josh Manson's the only one there, and Colorado can start the breakout. They're going to regroup now in their own end, try and wait for something to develop. Moved up ice, played now over the red line. Avalanche into the offensive zone. Manson's shot gets blocked by Bogosian's stick. That goes up and out of play, and we finally get a whistle with 5.03 to go in the first, and we're going to go to our first commercial break here. Five minutes to go, and we're just going to our first commercial break. There has been a lot of action already in this game. Great flow to the uh, great flow to the uh, game so far. And Tampa with the 1-0 lead on Steven Stamkos' goal, the only scoring so far. But welcome in, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Awesome to have you all in the ch in the chat. Please don't forget, it really means a lot if you get the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I cover the entire NHL, so fans of all teams are welcome and wanted. And we're just trying to build a hockey community where everyone can come together, enjoy hockey, and have some fun. Michael, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Very, very quick start here. Uh, thank you, Frank. Appreciate it. Patricia, what's going on? Um, welcome in. Uh, yeah, first round, Ted. I'll be live the night of the first round. Jan rooted to the locker room for Tampa. So they are right now down a defenseman. Uh, the draft first round is July seventh, and rounds two through seven are July eighth. I'm, I'm pretty sure those were the dates. Yeah, July seventh and eighth were the was is is the draft. All right, we got five oh three to go here in the first period. Offensive zone faceoff coming up for Colorado here, looking to tie the game. Zach, what's going on? Welcome in. Out high here, long shot by Byram, that's blocked. And Colorado trying to get it down low, but it's taken by the Lightning. Here's Chernak, he's going to clear that one out. All the way down, though, it's going to be icing against Tampa, and Colorado will get another chance at an ozone draw. It's 4.49 to go here in period number one. Trying to move it around. Here is Belmar. No, nope, one back by Ranton in Colorado setting up. Out high, long shot there, misses wide. Played back now, Byram to McKinnon. Long shot gets blocked. Another shot block there for the Lightning. And it's Eric Chernak again. And Tampa, all postseason long. Seems like they've been blocking a ton of shots. As McCarr gets one off, it doesn't get through. There's a chance! Luckin' and chips it just wide! Oh, uh, Arturi Lekkinen had a great opportunity there to tie it, but he can't get it by Vasilevsky as Tampa ices the puck again. We'll get another offensive zone faceoff for the Avalanche. This was a great opportunity for them, and he actually hit the post with it. It went right off the outside of the post. Played down now in the corner. Lifted all the way down. And once again, Tampa ices the puck. 4.15 to go, and it will be another attacking zone faceoff for Colorado. Colorado's come on really strong here the last few shifts. Lots of zone time and lots of chances. Another offensive zone draw here, but this time it's one back defensively by the Lightning. Chernak, though, can't get anything on it. 
And taken by McKinnon now. Colorado offensive zone setting back up. Moved out high by McCarr. He walks the line trying to open up a shooting lane. It's poked away. And out of the zone comes Tampa. Big hit by Rantanen, but Tampa sends it all the way down. That is once again icing against the Lightning. Okay, so Lightning have iced it for the last like four whistles in a row have been all Tampa icings. 3.55 left in the first. It'll be another attacking zone faceoff for the Avs. Offensive zone draw here, but it's one back defensively, and they're just Tampa is just gonna throw it in on Vasilevsky so he can cover it, and they can finally get a line change after all of those icings. So it will be another offensive zone draw for Colorado, but we've got a TV timeout here, um, and it's gonna go to a commercial break. It will be another offensive zone draw for the Avalanche, but Tampa can finally get a line change. Hey, thank you, David. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Uh, no Mander, what's going on? Welcome. Uh, 7883, what's going on? Welcome in. Thanks for watching. Good to have you here. Uh, yeah, game sevens are f awesome. I mean, there's nothing better in sports than game sevens. So I certainly would not be upset. Uh, it's going pretty well, Cap. Uh, day was pretty good, Matt. Um, thank you, Frank. Appreciate it. We're getting ready to get back into the action here. Uh, no, not really, no, Mander. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am more than ready for a break. I more than ready. Uh, Vitalia, what's going on? Welcome in. Jack, welcome. Thank you for being here. Travis, welcome to the stream. All right. Offensive zone draw here for Colorado. Under four minutes to go in the period. And taken to the sideboards. And Tampa's out of the zone. Kalorn to the red line. He'll dump it in. Lightning go on the four check. Here's Nick Paul. He's first to it. He gets checked but cycles the puck around. Tampa trying to get things going in the offensive end again. Moved up. That one's cleared out by Colorado. Lightning will go back to get it. Chernak in his own zone. Chernak behind the net now trying to work it up. Off the boards, through the middle. And that's cleared out. 3-10 to go here in the first. Taken by Colorado. And played back here in the neutral zone. Byram with it. Down in the corner. Uh, I have no idea, Ted. No idea. That's not my choice. Um... Norm, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. No icing here as Kemper plays it in the corner. Maroon heavy on the four check. And Colorado's moving the puck up, though, and they get it out of their zone. 235 left. Maroon with another good hit, that time on Kadri. Trying to play it around. Behind the net, 220 to go here in the first. Tampa Bay working it out of their zone. Here's Ross Colton up the near side boards into the offensive end. And sends that one. Spin around shot. Kemper easily sticks that to the end wall. Confer trying to get to it, but the Lightning pinch and keep it in. 
Played around now. Four check coming from Sorelli. Johnson trying to move it out for Colorado. He cannot. Lightning keep it in again as we tick down under two minutes to go in the first period. Tampa still holding on to the 1-0 lead on the goal by Steven Stamkos. Played around now. Out high. Lightning have it. Here's Ruda. He's back. Shot in there. Kemper's got to make the save, and he covers that one up. We get a whistle with 1.39 to go in the first in an offensive zone faceoff coming for Tampa Bay. Uh, shots, uh, were 8-8. Eight, eight. I think they're 9-8 now because I don't think that, uh, that last one for Tampa had been counted yet. So I think it's 9-8 Tampa shots. And obviously they're up 1-0 on the scoreboard. Uh, hey, thank you, Jack. Appreciate it. Uh, best fighter on both teams, Porfirio? Um, I mean, Tampa's got a few guys that can throw, but I, Maroon would be their their enforcer, their fighter. Uh, Colorado doesn't really have anyone in the lineup. Colorado has Curtis McDermott, who's one of the best fighters in the league, but he's a depth defenseman, and he's I don't think he's played a game in the playoffs. I think he's been healthy, scratched all playoffs. But he fought a lot in the regular season. He's an absolute heavyweight, but uh, hasn't been playing in the postseason. Uh, Ruda just shot the puck on net, Frank. Hey, BC Transportation, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, I have no idea, Micah. I It was probably announced. I just don't care to remember where. I have no clue. Uh, Pablo, what is going on? Welcome in. Shady side, welcome. Thank you for being here. Good to see you guys in the chat. 135 to go in the first period. Lightning setting back up offensive zone. Nice kick save there on a point shot. Darcy Kemper with a good stop, and now Colorado's able to get it out. McDonough with it over to through the neutral zone, but Colorado sends it back the other way. Moved up in. Played back to the blue line. 115 to go in the first. Long shot goes wide of Vasilevsky. Played up. That one sent out. Landis Gog's going to go back to get it now with a minute to go in the first period. He brings it to the offensive zone. Poked off of his stick. Eventually stolen by Kucherov. Up to Jan Ruda, who dumps it into the offensive end. He'll chase along with Nick Paul going against Eric Johnson. Down in the corner, Lightning keep it in the attacking zone. Ruda pinches again, this time against Byram. At, Bolts have it offensive end, spun around deep by Kalorn. Far side, Landeskog chips that off glass and out. Cleared as Tampa goes back to get it. Behind the net now, final 30 seconds of the first period. Played up by Hagel. He chips it off the boards into the offensive zone. No icing. Manson goes back to get it for Colorado. He'll carry it up ice. Pass out of his zone to Helm into the offensive end. And right back out. Cleared again by Tampa Bay. Cade, what's going on? Welcome in. Around now, Colorado. Final seconds of the period. Pucks down in the quarter. They're not going to get a shot off. The horn sounds and that is it. And we get a little bit of a tussle going after here as Hagel and Chernak get in on O'Connor. Helm comes in, and everybody's going to come together here to close out period number one. Josh Manson and Nick Paul are tied up, and eventually everybody separates. And we got a little scrum going here at the end of the first. But we got 20 minutes down, 40 minutes of action still to go. We're headed to the first intermission. 
It is a 1-0 lead for the Tampa Bay Lightning, who scored less than 30 seconds. Uh, or no, excuse me, the power play was less than 30 seconds, in, but scored less than four minutes into the game. The only goal so far, Steven Stamkos with it. And the Lightning lead 1-0 after one. Uh, Pat, what's going on? Welcome in. Ike, welcome in. Tracy, Jordan, uh, Adelis, welcome in. Patrick, what's going on? Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you all in the chat. Really appreciate it. End of the first period. Very fast-moving first period. And uh, Tampa Bay in Colorado. 40 more minutes of game six. Tampa with the lead right now, trying to force a seventh game. Uh, who... Who do I uh, who do I want to win, Matt? I w want Colorado to win. Who do I think is gonna win? I think Tampa is gonna win. So we've got some time now to hang out and chill in the chat while we wait for this second period to start. Off to a very fast-paced start to this game. It's been really fun, and uh, appreciate everyone being here it is gonna be uh it's gonna be a heck of a rest of a, a rest of the game if it's anything like that first period was these teams are going back and forth exchanging chances so appreciate everyone being here please don't forget it really means a lot hit that if you can hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet um I cover the entire NHL so fans of all teams are welcome and wanted just trying to build a hockey community where uh, everyone can come together, enjoy hockey, and have some fun. Uh, JD, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, I do not think Vegas is winning a cup. No, Vegas is not going to win the cup next year. Uh, well, there, unfortunately, KC, there cannot be nine games. If it goes to a game seven, um, if it goes to a game seven, then uh, whoever wins that game will win. Hey, David, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get some new sub hype in the chat for David. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Hey, Veggie Vet drops a 20 on the stream. Let's get some dono hype in the chat for Veggie Vet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sander, what's going on? Welcome in. Appreciate you being here. We're at the first intermission, getting ready for period number two to begin. Very fast-paced first period. We'll see if that continues uh, all the way through here. But uh, I have a feeling that these teams are going to play a high-energy, high-paced game uh, throughout the uh, throughout the uh, the entirety of tonight's action. Hey, Logan, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, I highly, highly doubt it, Patrick. No. Uh, Boston is not even close to being able to afford Johnny Goodrow. Unless they, unless they like trade away some big contract, which probably isn't going to happen, uh, that's not happening. Uh, 
Uh, Beach Life, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, I have no idea who's going to... We still have an entire off-season before we can start like look, thinking about the Cup next year. I mean, it seems rosters are going to change a lot this off-season. So I have no idea who's going to be a Cup contender next year. We're going to have to see what changes are made in the off-season. Hey, William, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Ah, oh, we'll see. We'll see if you can get it, Jack. Uh, Slammy, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you, Rox. Appreciate it. Uh, Nick Paul has had a phenomenal playoffs for Tampa Bay. Talk about a trade deadline acquisition that has really worked out well. Paul has been awesome as a third liner for the Lightning. Hey, Bodan, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. BTB, what's going on? Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Awesome to see you in the chat. It is uh, first intermission here. Tampa with the 1-0 lead. Uh, Fish in Michigan, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. Good to have you in the chat. Appreciate it. Still got a ways to go here in the intermission, so waiting on the action to return. Man, that was such a fast first period, though. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I, I think it's going to be a fast game. Um, you know, may, may, we might not have as many long stretches th without a whistle the way that we did in the first, but I think it's going to be a very high-paced game all the way through. Uh, my two cents. What's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Uh, I don't know, Patrick. I don't know. Uh, Zorzo, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, big off season for Pittsburgh coming up, Justin. Uh, they they've got some tough decisions to make for sure. Uh, Bictor, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, 
Uh, Patrick, um, I can I can tell you that uh go, that Kadri is not going to be getting a Gordy Howe hat trick because Nazem Kadri is not going to be fighting. Uh, he's got a major thumb injury and he's got this whole extra padding in his glove just to be able to play. So you're definitely not going to be seeing him drop the gloves with a thumb injury. Uh, J-Dub, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Yeah, Canes have an interesting offseason as well. They, they're they a good, they're, they've been a good team. Um, and they're just, tr they're getting like those next steps, but they, they haven't made it all the way yet. So we'll see. Um... Hey, Scar, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get some new sub hype in the chat for Scar. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. All right, I'm going to see how much time we have left here at this uh, intermission. Hopefully not too long. Uh, about six minutes. Looks like it's about six minutes until... Uh, We get back into the action. I mean, Colorado had a ton of chances in that period, Fabian. They're threatening to score plenty. They just, they can't get... They just can't get by Vasilevsky. They they're you know they're struggling to score a lot of goals on Vasilevsky, which obviously best goalie in the league. So um, he's not going to make it easy on you. It's what happens when you face a all world goaltender. Uh, yes, Braden Point is still out. Uh, I mean, that might play a bit of a role in it, Johnny, but it's definitely not the only factor playing in. Um, but that, that definitely plays a role. Uh, Zorzo, I am from Massachusetts. It was, uh, it was like 90 degrees here today. It was a hot one. Uh, Cody, what's going on? Welcome in. Well, Tampa's been blocking shots very well all postseason long. Uh, a lot of their defensemen have been, and not just their defensemen, actually. I mean, Chernak is a huge shot blocker. Bogosian's a shot blocker. But it's not just their defensemen. Their forwards are doing it, too. Tampa as a team has just been blocking a lot of shots in these playoffs. Uh, no, I, this room does not have air conditioning, no. Oh, that's pretty cool, Joseph. That's awesome. All right. Uh, suck it up and deal with it, Zorzo. That's what everyone does. All right, we're about to start the second period. Once we get back from, once we get back from this commercial break. Uh, second period will be coming on when we get back from this commercial.
Hey, Robbie, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Bro, can't this frickin' period just start? There's been about five straight minutes of ads here. I don't want to watch about a frickin' Hyundai. I don't give a shit. I want the hockey game to start. This is so fucking... All right, finally we're going to drop the puck here. About damn time. Um, second period, obviously a big one. Tampa with the one-goal lead. We'll see if they can extend it or if Colorado is able to come back here. But big one coming up here. Lining up at center ice, referee ready to drop the puck. And that one's won back by Colorado. We are underway in period two as the Avs dump it in. Going in on the forecheck here, trying to get a good early start to this period. Offensive zone, trying to keep it there. They do, here's McKinnon. Through to Lekin and back. Now McCarr with a blast that goes wide. And that deflects off the boards up and out of play. We got a whistle 20 seconds in. And an offensive zone face-off coming up now for the Avalanche. Jay, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. And that one's one back now to McCarr. Long shot there. Sent wide. Taken by Kalor and out of the zone. Here's Hagel up ice for Tampa. Tampa now trying to get it deep in the offensive end. McCarr stands up Hagel. He's knocked to the ice. The puck's under him somewhere. Trying to dig this out. Finally, McCarr chips it to the blue line. It's back out to the neutral zone. Taking it now is McDonough. Tampa has the puck. Here's Hagel back to the offensive end. Getting in behind. Spins back. Can't find Kalorn cleanly. Plays it along the wall now. He's hit again. And it's taken up out of the zone by Colorado over the red line. Into the offensive end. That one's chipped wide. And Vasilevsky just sends it to the corner. Tampa clears it out. Devontae's back to get it over now to Johnson. Trying to go back the other way. It's Kucherov. In the offensive zone, he dumps it. Palat will be first after it. He steals it away from Eric Johnson, but then falls down. Colorado comes away with the puck. They clear that one up through the middle. Here's Hedman. 
Played down low. That one doesn't connect. It's going to be a whistle. And no change on the icing for Tampa. We'll come back to their zone, and the Avalanche will have an attacking zone faceoff. 18.35 to go here in the second. Still early on in period two. Colorado looking for the tying goal. Boris, what's going on? Welcome. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Played back now. Back to Manson. Long shot there. Second chance. That goes over Vasilevsky. And that's gloved out of the air by Andre Vasilevsky. He's going to grab that one. 18-24 to go here in the second. It'll be another ozone draw. Uh, no, I have not, Porfirio. And it looks like Vasilevsky has an equipment issue here. He's getting something worked on at the bench. So that is going to give... Oh, they got to fix something with Vasilevsky's mask. So that's going to give... Uh, that is going to give every uh, everyone a little bit of a breather here while Vasi gets his mask fixed. And he'll skate back to the net now. And it will be an offensive zone face-off again. Colorado here. Wins that one back. They look to set up in the offensive zone. Ranton in, long shot. Pad save Vasilevsky. Here's McKinnon. Vasi sticks that one away. Tampa tries to bring it out. We got a penalty call coming up against the Lightning. Colorado's going to get a power play here, but the Lightning haven't touched it up yet. Here's a chance. And they score! What a shot! On the delayed call, Nate McKinnon puts one home. It's a tie game. 1-1 early in period two. <laughs> and the Mac attack ties the game at two. Or, excuse me, at one in the second period. Period two, game tied at one. And Nathan McKinnon goes short side on Andre Vasilevsky and blasts that one home to even this thing up. And just like that, we are all equal again. That is a big goal for the Colorado Avalanche. Hey, John with the 25. Let's get some hype in the chat. Hype in the chat for John. Dono hype for dropping the 25. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. And hold on a second. Now, now the referees are talking about something. The referees are all huddled up talking about something. I don't know what they're going over here. One of the refs is talking with Steven Stamkos now. And Vasilevsky is going back to his net. Stammer doesn't seem to be too happy with the explanation. He's still barking with the ref. I don't know what the Lightning are arguing about here. I don't know what I don't know what the Lightning are arguing here. Anyway, it's a good goal. The teams are now lining up. The teams are now lining up at center ice. It's a good goal. 
And it is a 1-1 game now with 18.06 to go in the second. McKinnon now has 13 goals in the postseason. And this game is tied at one. As Colorado brings it up ice, they dump it into the offensive zone. Down behind the net. I don't know. John Cooper always has something to complain about. I just don't know what he was complaining about there that caused the long delay. But anyway, it's a good goal. And 17.45 now to go. Colorado's back into the offensive zone. Trying to play it up now. Tampa clears over the red line. Devon Taves gets it back. Profion, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Played up now. Belmar into the offensive zone. Throws that into the glove of Kemper. And that one... Is going to get gloved down as Belmar and Johnson exchange some shoves in front of the net. Catherine, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Tampa Bay will get an offensive zone faceoff now. Looking to get their lead back. Ozone draw now here for the Lightning. Kind of a stalemate off the draw. Eventually up ice comes O'Connor as Colorado gets it out. Played around up the boards. Here's Sorelli. Sorelli gets absolutely run over. But the Lightning move the puck. Here's Colton into the offensive zone. He fires one in. Kemper makes a save on that. Corey Perry gets to it down low. He's pressured by Darren Helm. Both teams, both teams digging for it. Trying to work this one around now. It goes out high. Played there by Sergachev. He keeps it in the offensive zone. Played around. It's taken by O'Connor and Colorado will clear. Barry, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Moving it around now behind the net. 16 and a half minutes to go in the second period. Game is tied at one. Tampa trying to force a game seven. Colorado looking to finish it off tonight. Played up here, and that's going to be offsides, and it will come all the way back down. And Landeskog doesn't know why it's coming all the way down, but uh, offsides call there against Colorado. It will be a face-off again coming up. Hey, welcome back, Joey. Good to see you, man. Yeah, game's tied up. Colorado evened it early in the period. Malika, what's going on? Welcome. Dumped into the offensive zone. Down behind the net. Tampa with it now. Good forecheck. Kucherov to Stamkos. Pass through to Hedman. Hedman sends it deep again. Stammer behind the net. Plays it. Trying to cycle now. Offensive zone. He's got Devon Taves on him. That shot attempt gets deflected wide. Ends up in the corner. Moved back over to the near side. Hedman sends it low again below the goal line. Tave sends it up the boards. Tampa pinches to keep it in. Good shift here for the Lightning in the offensive zone. Trying to work this one around into the high slot. That one goes high off glass. Colorado first to it. It's Kadri. And Kadri's up out of the zone. Cleared there by Colorado. Lightning bring it right back in, but they're off sides. They have to tag up. That gives Colorado a chance to get back defensively, but here are the Lightning back on the attack. Shot just wide. Good chance there for Tampa. Hagel with the shot, but it misses. Grace, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, definitely still could, no Mander, yes. Work down now in the corner. Trying to play it now off the back of the goal. Sorelli on the forecheck, steals from McCarr. Lightning have it. Back out to the point, cycling it around the offensive zone. Tampa looking to get their lead back. Brandon Hagel dro drops it for McDonough. McDonough to Kalorn. Kalorn comes out in front, fires one. That one gets blocked. And Landeskog will lift that one out of the zone. Colorado gets a much-needed clear, but the puck hit the Jumbotron on the way out. So it hits the... Uh, 
Hits the big scoreboard hanging over center ice. And that's going to get the play whistle dead because that counts as going up and out of play. And that is going to get a whistle, though. It does allow the Avalanche to get a line change. Offensive zone faceoff coming now for Tampa. Belmar against McKinnon in the dot. And McKinnon wins it back. Down low, up and out. Cleared there over the red line. Dumped in. And that one is played around now. Colorado goes in on the four check. Lightning trying to quickly get it out. They do. Here's Maroon up ice. Manson comes across. Cuts him off. Maroon loses his stick. And the Avalanche are going to take the puck. Played back now. Up over the red line. Into the offensive zone. Josh Manson. Pass over to the other side. McKinnon. They get it to the front of the net, but Vasilevsky keeps it out. The Lightning get to the rebound. Tampa up ice back the other way. End to end we go with 14 minutes left in the second. Playing it around now. Heavy hit down low by the forecheck of Tampa. Trying to get to it now is Lekkonen. Lekkonen's going to carry it up. Lightning will get a line change. Colorado clears and they'll chip it to the offensive zone. Vasilevsky comes out to play it. Wraps that one up the boards. Taken now by Colton. To Perry. Into the offensive zone. Top of the circle. He gets a shot off. Nice pad save there by Kemper. And Colorado will clear the loose puck. Lightning now and Avalanche fighting for it out in the neutral zone. Avs come away with it. Right at their own blue line. They go D to D. 13-20 left here in period two. That's sent in. And it goes up and out of play. We get a whistle and the faceoff will come out to the neutral zone. 13-19 to go here in period number two. And unlike the first period, um, I think we're gonna get we're gonna get a commercial break within the first half of the period this time. And we will head to our first commercial break of the second. Colorado and Tampa tied up at one. Great hockey game going here in game six. Thank you guys all for watching. Really appreciate it. Great to have you in the chat. Please don't forget, it would really mean a lot if you could hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I cover the entire NHL, so fans of all teams are welcome and wanted here. Just trying to build a hockey community where everyone can come together, enjoy hockey, and have some fun. And boy, what a fun game we have going tonight between the Avs and the Lightning. 1-1 game, second period. Stanley Cup on the line if Colorado wins it. Tampa fighting for their lives, trying to force a game seven. And uh, still over half a hockey game to go to decide this one. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Raji goes, first of all, it's huge. The, it's huge. The Jumbotrons are huge. Um, and the other thing is it's really not that high above the ice. It's If you flip a puck out of the zone, you can easily hit it. Uh, it's not actually that high up. So uh, I've, I've seen them get hit pl uh, a bunch of times. They're, they're very big. They take up, like, their, the whole, like, center part of the ice. And they're not that high up. You can flip a puck into them pretty easily. Kelly, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, it is Lemonade and Pink Whitney Mix, Jay. Uh, usually it doesn't break it because if you flip the puck high enough... It's not going to have enough juice on it to actually break it. So usually it doesn't break it, um, but I, I it could. But usually if you get enough loft on the puck to actually reach it, then it's not like a, it's not a hard clear. So it usually just kind of bounces off. Henrik, what's going on? Welcome in. Back in on the four check now. Colorado trying to work it around. Back out, cleared to the neutral zone, played by Tampa. Maroon loses his stick again. That's like this. That's the second time in the last two shifts that Maroon's lost his stick. He might want to grip it a little tighter. 
as Colorado back here trying to keep it in the offensive zone. They play it deep to the corner. Played around. Here's Belmar trying to clear for Tampa. And that's played up now through the middle. Sergachev over the red line. Dumped in. And that's down in the corner behind the net. Uh, no Mander. 2020 they beat Dallas. And last year they beat Montreal. Played up now over the red line. Up ice comes Lekkinen. Offensive zone for Colorado. Arturi Lekkinen with a good shot and a save there by Vasilevsky. Tampa comes back the other way. Palat with some speed. Stamkos with him. Into the offensive zone to Kucherov. Kucherov fires one that gets deflected wide by Byram. And now we got some action after the whistle as Stamkos and Byram get tangled up. And Stamkos and Byram get into it. Eric Johnson tries to get in. So Kucherov grabs him. And we got another skirmish going back behind the net. And some more action here between these two. And... Yeah, no, Vasilevsky shut down the angle on Lekin in there on that chance very, very well, just expertly. All right, 11.52 now to go here in the second. Offensive zone faceoff for Tampa. Trying to get their one goal lead back. Uh, I've gone back and watched replays of them, Patrick, but I never saw any live, no. But I've, I've gone back and watched all the replays. Nice cover there by Kemper as he makes another stop, and it will be another ozone draw for the Lightning. Ticking now towards the halfway point of this game. There's 11.44 to go in the second. Uh, Eddie, what is going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. I missed uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter being there. I I didn't see that. I missed it. Out high, there's a shot, and that one gets blocked. Nachushkin comes away with it. Turns it over, though, as Palat plays it in the corner. And we got 11 and a half to go now in the period. Played up now, out high. Taken by Hedman. Long shot. That one misses wide. Played up now, carrying it through the neutral zone. Colorado up ice, into the offensive end. Down in the corner. Up the boards it goes. Tampa clears. Colorado's going to go back and get it. It's Kale McCarr. Passes that one up. Great stretch pass for Comfort. JT Comfort! And they're off sides. The whole thing gets blown down. Wow. JT Comfer thought he was in all alone behind the D there, but the linesman late on the call blows the whole thing down, and it's going to be a neutral zone faceoff, so it wouldn't have counted even if he scored. What a what a pass, though, by McCarr. But the, the dude over by the bench wasn't off yet for Colorado. That was actually, that's a difficult call for the linesman. And uh, that was actually a very good call by the linesman. That's not an easy one to make. And the, the guy over by the bench was still on the ice. So he, linesman was, was very good with the call. But man, that was, that was very close to being a breakaway there for Colorado. Bogosian gloves it down, keeps it in the offensive zone. Played over there. Maroon with a shot that misses wide. And that clears itself down. 10.45 left as Tampa's got to regroup back in their own zone. Trying to play it around now. Behind the net. 
Here's Vasilevsky. Plays it to Bogosian. Bogosian passes it up and out of the zone. Belmar now carrying into the offensive end. Played up now. And that's all the way down. 10.20 to go in period two. Played up over the red line now into the offensive end. Dumped in. Played down low. Colorado trying to get a chance in front. Vasilevsky holds it. McKinnon gets it back though. Taken now. Vasilevsky, good job holding the post there. Here's Lekkinen with it. Back out high. Played around now. Long shot. That one just misses. Played up now. Here's Sorelli. Move to the middle. Rolls in on Kemper. And puck is loose. Colorado first to it. Kemper couldn't hold that one. Lifted all the way down. And back to get it is Hedman now. Garrett, what's going on? D uh, official Devil of Dirt, what's going on? Welcome in. Nine minutes to go now here in the second. Moved up ice. Dan, it's not a penalty because if you're right by the bench, it's not a penalty. Watch every line change. The player coming on to the ice gets out there before the player coming off goes to the bench every single time. There's oh, every single line change, there's, there's six or seven guys on the ice. It's just you can't play the puck over like those players can't get involved in the play until the other guy is off but every single line change the guy coming onto the ice goes out first Colorado with it trying to take it now out high Colorado keeps it in here's Byram played down low what's going on my bad gaming welcome in Carson welcome in Thank you for being here. Good to see you in the chat. Back the other way. Lightning dump it deep. Eight minutes to go. Moved up to the middle. And here's Lekkinen from center ice. Dumped in. Sent across. Colorado in on the forecheck. Here's Ranton in his pass. Just couldn't connect. Moved up into the offensive zone. Moved across. Here's a shot in. Locking in. Scores. It's a 2-1 lead for the Avalanche. Arturi Lekkinen rips a shot off and beats Vasilevsky. And we got uh, more action going after the play here. Maroon, again, no stick in Maroon's hand. Not happy about something. McDonough is giving it to the referee. Not sure what happened after that goal was scored, but the Tampa Bay Lightning are not happy about it. Colorado just took the 2-1 lead. Oh, Maroon Maroon broke his stick over Josh Manson. <laughs> that's that's what happened. Maroon just broke his stick over Josh Manson after the goal was scored. Wow, this is the first regulation lead for the Avalanche since Game 3. And we are lined back up now at center ice. Seven and a half to go in the second. We are back underway. Moved up and into the offensive zone. Here's Tampa Bay trying to tie things back up. Over there, glove down. Cleared out by Newhook and Colorado sends it back. 
All the way in. 7.14 to go in the second. Sergachev will carry it up. Dumped into the offensive zone. Played down low. Taken by Johnson off glass. Here's Rantanen with it. Colorado into the offensive zone. Played up now. Through the middle. Taken back by Eric Johnson. Here's McKinnon with some speed into the offensive zone. Trying to cut back on the D. Drops it. And a big shot block there by Sergachev. Fantastic shot block there by Sergachev. And then it goes up and hits the netting. And we get a whistle with 6.36 to go. Second period action. Seven... We're under seven minutes now to go here in the second period. Colorado with a 2-1 lead on Arturi Lekkonen's goal. And they have less than half a uh, half a game to go to try and finish this one off. But with it only being a one-goal game, this one is far, far, far from over. Hey, Mike and Julie, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Awesome to see you in the chat. Uh, no, I love Pat Maroon. I love Pat Maroon. Um, I wish every team had a Pat Maroon on them. There'd be hockey would be a lot more fun if uh, if every team had guys like him. Uh, I wish Maroon and Manson would actually drop the gloves. They've been going at it all series long. Um, I wish they'd actually drop the gloves and 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 fight somebody, fight each other. Um, they've been they've been slashing, cross checking, throwing hits, throwing elbows. Like they've been going at it all series long. Those two, but they haven't actually dropped the gloves yet. I want to see them actually throw down. Uh, my favorite team devil is the Boston Bruins. I am from Massachusetts. Uh, Noswa, Pat Maroon was near the top of the league in fights this year. So that's just flat out false. He's literally one of the most, he's one of the most active fighters in the league. Played up now into the offensive zone. Nick Paul on the rush. Played in front. That one gets knocked down. Knocked down there. Played with a high stick. Uh, yes, Maroon won in 2019 with St. Louis. He's going for his fourth straight cup. Hey, wrist rider, what's going on? No, that puck was played with a high stick, so it got whistled down. Um, but what's going on, wrist rider? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Big heavy collision into the end boards there. Colorado go back to get it in their own zone. Moved up, played here, and ch chipped out all the way down by the avalanche. Rolls in on Vasilevsky, plays it to Palat. Played up now through the middle. Uh, I don't know yet, Jay. I don't, I don't even know what day free agency starts. It's going to depend on what day it is. Played around now. Taken down low, it's O'Connor. He gets hammered down behind the net by Bogosian. 
Bring it around here. Here's my car. And now we're going to get a penalty call. We get a boarding penalty here. And I think it's going to be against Tampa Bay. Colorado is going to the power play here. A boarding call against Ryan McDonough is going to put Tampa Bay shorthanded. And Colorado to the man advantage here. And McDonough takes down Darren Helm from behind. And we're going to go to a commercial break here. Our final commercial break of the second period. The Avalanche will be on the power play when we get back. Uh, Pat Maroon had 10 fights this year, this, uh, this regular season. He was tied with a bunch of guys that had 10 fights. Um, Tanner Janot led the league with 14. So he was four, he was four fights off of the league lead. All right. Uh, McDonough has been awesome in these playoffs, Isaac. McDonough is a great shutdown D-man and has been for years. McDonough has been the most important defensive defenseman for, for the Lightning. Uh, Stamco scored for Tampa Bay, and then McKinnon and Lekkinen scored for uh, the Avalanche. All right, we're back from the commercial break now. Colorado to the power play. Hey, Jeremiah, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Good to see you in the chat. Worked around now. Lightning trying to clear it out of the zone. Paul, off glass, out to neutral ice. Uh, I would definitely not, Jay. No. I would just go to the store and buy a package of them. <laughs> Brought up now into the offensive zone. And cleared right back out by the Lightning again. Not a strong start to this power play for... Colorado. Brandon, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Under a minute and a half to go now on the power play. Four and a half minutes to go in the second period. Playing this one around. That's chipped out. Here comes Kalorn, shorthanded up ice into the offensive zone. Fires one in and a pad save by Kemper. Back the other way now. Landeskog. Colorado back to the attack. Plays it to Makar. Makar over to the other side. Knocked down and played. Over now. And good penalty kill so far for Tampa Bay. Colorado not getting a whole lot going here. Fifty-five, fifty-five seconds to go though on the power play. Still four oh two left in the period. The flyer, what's going on? Welcome in. Played up now. Tampa sends it all the way down. They clear. Wilson, welcome in. Forty-five seconds left on this power play. As Colorado brings it up ice. Played up now into the offensive zone. Taken back. Here's Devon Taves with it. Over to the far side. Shot in. Vasilevsky covers that one up. And we got a good stoppage there. Nice save from Andre Vasilevsky. 3.35 to go in the period. 29 seconds to go on the power play. And it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for Colorado.
Uh, it's too hot to wear a jersey tonight. Also, the I think the bad luck rule extends beyond just the Bruins based on how game five went. Um, but it's too hot to wear a jersey tonight here. As we got some more pushing and shoving after the whistle, Landeskog was down on the ice. And his teammates come in to try and avenge that a little bit. There's some shoving. And 23 seconds to go on the power play. Another ozone draw for the Avalanche. Uh, Yum, Yumi Lion Productions, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Played in here. That shot goes wide. 15 seconds left here for Colorado. Taken by McKinnon. Moved across. That one, nobody able to get it in. Back out high, McCarr. Passes that one off a skate to the corner. Played back out to the neutral zone, and that's going to do it for the man advantage. We are back now to even strength action. Five on five as McDonough is out of the box. Three minutes to go. He has a chance in front. That one on Cogliano gets blocked by Paul. Played down low now. Second moved up. Back the other way. Knocked down at the red line. Colorado will dump it deep. They'll go after it on the four check. Played around now. In the corner. Taken by Palat. Tampa Bay comes up ice. Here's Kucherov. In behind Devon Taves. Stamkos first after it. Played down in the corner. Trying to send it around now. 2.15 to go in the second. Avalanche lifted up and out of the zone. They're looking to take the lead into the third period. Tampa is looking for the tying goal. 19-19 shots are tied. Played into the middle. Here's Kucherov. Backhand pass. Trying to find somebody. It deflects wide. Kemper looks like he might have lost track of that for a second. But his teammates bail him out and clear it all the way down. And no icing as it rolls in on Vasilevsky. Tampa comes up. Their pass does not connect though. It's going to be a whistle. And an icing call against the Lightning. It will come back down to their own end. And it will be an offensive zone faceoff for the Avalanche here late in period number two. One back now by Colorado. Thrown in there. That one deflects wide. Trying to work it around down low. Here are the Avalanche. Pressured along the end boards. Taken by Belmar. And Tampa is trying to work it up and out. They cannot get it out. Now on the second chance they do. Here come the lightning up ice. Carrying it into the offensive end. Chance there. Deflected away. Byram takes it for Colorado. Almost turns it over as a double four check came. But gets it through to his teammate. Over to the near side now, Johnson chips it out of the zone. Up ice, here's Rantanen. He fires one wide of Vasilevsky. Back the other way, 105 to go in period two. Brought up and dumped deep. Here's Kalorn, down in the corner. Plays it into the middle, taken by the Avalanche, and they're going to carry it out. Colorado comes up ice. Here's McCarr jumping into the play, offensive zone. Out high, that one gets knocked down, stolen away by... Tampa, here's Kalor now, backhands it by Kadri. Kadri will get to it first, though, and then play it through. Up the boards, and to the blue line, not out. Now Lekkinen will clear for Colorado. He's passed too far in front of Kadri, but he skates into it. Hedman all over him. Nachushin comes in trying to help. 25 seconds to go here in period two. Worked up by Stamkos to Hagel. Into the offensive zone, Brandon Hagel. Poke checked by Byram. Colorado clears. All the way back out. Final 13 seconds of the period. Colorado leads by one. Working this one up. Josh Manson sends it back out to the neutral zone. It goes off of Logan O'Connor's stick. He's looking for one last shot. Fires one in. And that one to block it away by Vasilevsky as the period ends. And that is going to do it for the second. We've got 40 minutes down. 20 minutes of hockey to go. 
And Colorado leads 2-1. to one. And they will take that lead into period number three. Can they hold on for 20 more minutes? Or do the Lightning have a comeback in them to force a game seven? We're going to find out. But before that, we have some time to hang out and chill in the chat now while we wait for period number three to begin. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I cover the entire NHL, so fans of all teams, welcome and wanted. And just trying to build a hockey community where everyone can come together, enjoy hockey, and have some fun. Colorado with the one goal lead, 20 minutes to go. And we'll see, are the Avs going to finish this off and win the Cup, or is Tampa going to force that game number seven on Tuesday? What a final period this is going to be. Absolutely cannot wait. Honestly, the, I wish this intermission wasn't happening. I wish they were just going right into the third period and playing the rest of this out. Oh, that'd be awesome, Jeremiah. That would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome period, Jay. And I uh, can't wait to see what happens. Uh, Steven, what's going on? Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, we'll see, Rocks. We'll see. Uh, no idea what it will be, my two cents. It'll be something, but no idea. Um. Hey, Alec, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Oh, not for me, Jay. This has been an extremely long season for me, and I cannot wait until I get a break. This year has just gone on and on and on. Hey, Nathaniel, what's going on? Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Good to see you in the chat, as always. 
Hey, thank you, Jay. I appreciate you being here. Appreciate all you guys being here. I mean, obviously, you know, when the season ends, um, there's, you know, there's a, a while between hockey games, but I am, I am ready for a somewhat of a break. That's for sure. By the time we get into the off season, like deep into the off season, I'll definitely be wishing that hockey was back, but I can guarantee you for those first few weeks, I will be happy to just have some time off. Uh, Pokemon Legend, what's going on? Welcome in. Hockey Maddie, welcome in. Uh, he's expected to wrist rider. Nothing's official yet, but that's the expectation right now. P Jet, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Wayne, welcome in. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Really appreciate you. Um, Drag Racer, what's going on? The memes about Tampa whining about everything are already coming out. Odd, Odd Man Rush posted, I don't know if you guys can see, it's John Cooper with the Karen haircut saying, I need to speak to the manager. So the uh, the memes about Tampa's whining are already, uh, already all over the place. And it literally was like just last period. <laughs> Karen Cooper. <laughs> uh. The, uh, all the good hockey meme pages are going to be all over it tonight. They're going to be all over it tonight. Well, it's not over yet. We still got still got uh 20 more minutes of action to go. Uh it, there's some good ones on Twitter, Patrick. Uh and that blind ref logic on Instagram is like my favorite one. My fi bl blind ref logic on Instagram's fantastic. Uh, next goal for the Avs. I'm going to go Landeskog. Uh, the first goal was scored by Steven Stamkos, Ikeka, and then Colorado answered with goals by... Uh, Nathan McKinnon and Arturi Lekkinen. I have not been to South Weymouth Bruins fan, no. Uh, probably Makar, Jeremiah. If I had to guess, probably Makar. But has he has he done anything in this game? No, he doesn't have a point yet in this game. But he is third in the league in points for the postseason. 
Yeah, he's got 29. So I'd say I would if I had a guess, it would be good. It would be uh, it'd be Makar. Yeah, McCarr's got 29 points in the playoffs, third in the entire NHL, and the most of any player still playing. So, um, I would, I, if I had a guess on a Con Smythe, it would be him that gets it. Uh, no, they are not all from Canada. CNM. There's, there's Russians. There's Americans. There's Canadians. There's Czech. There's Swedes. There's probably a Finn on one of these teams. Uh, Bigfoot, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's two Finns on the Avs. Hello, Garrett. What's going on? Uh, winter break. What's going on? Welcome in. Uh, maybe big show. One more period to find out. They got the lead right now. We can just, they got to try and hold it. Uh, Evan, what's going on? E money. Welcome in. Thanks for coming by. Awesome to see you in the chat. Of course. Uh, Zach, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Robert, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Well, yeah, no, obviously the Avalanche can't just sit back for a full period and play prevent defense. They'll definitely lose if they do that. Um, but they, they've got to stay in front. Like I think the, the Avalanche do not want to allow Tampa Bay to tie this game. They've got to stay in front. So whether that's put, you know, maybe that's putting more goals on the board, fine. If that's keeping it two to one, whatever, however they do it, Colorado just needs to stay in front. They, if Tampa ties this game, um, I, I don't think that that would be good for the Avalanche. I that would that would give that would give Tampa some juice on their side. Hey, Omerta, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, yes, he is, Evan. Yes, he is.
All right, we're going to be starting the third here when we get back from these commercials. So we are very close. Third period is about to start. Hayford, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Yeah, that would be... Sitting back would be a death sentence for Colorado. I don't think they're going to do that. They're not that dumb. And they they play much better when they have a high pace game going. Cuz I'm I'm focused on hockey right now, Dan. Uh, no, the, the Streamlabs, uh, the Streamlabs link is linked to my PayPal, uh, or you can use Super Chat through YouTube. Those are the donation options. Dusty, what's going on? Welcome. Charles, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, upstairs, where it belongs. All right, here we go. Period's about to start for the third. Colorado 2-1 to one lead. If they hold on to this lead, they will win the Stanley Cup. If the Lightning come back and win, then we've got a Game 7 on Tuesday. Here we go. Teams are getting ready to go. Lining up, ready to play. Charles, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get some new sub hype in the chat for Charles. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. We'll find out if this is going to be the last period of hockey of the season or not. We're going to find out here. Uh, nope, Trevor, that's illegal. That's why it says play-by-play, -play, like every single other stream on YouTube. Referees talking to both coaches right now. Teams are lining up at the center dot. And we are ready to drop the puck. Here we go. Uh, hey, new subscriber, Voitaya. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get that new sub hype in the chat. Welcome to the channel. Winter break as well. New sub hype for winter break. Welcome in. Third period has begun. Puck is dropped. And it is underway. Down in the corner, Devon Taves turns it over. Lightning have it. Offensive zone. One around now. Taken here along the sideboards by Hagel. He falls down. Played out high. Lightning have it. Attacking zone. Chernak, long shot. That one gets blocked. Back the other way now. Colorado clears. And that's dumped all the way down, but it's going to be an icing. 
And 30 seconds in, we get an icing call against the Avalanche, and the Lightning will get it back in the offensive end. Wow, big shot block there from Nathan McKinnon. He slid right in front of that Chernak point shot. One back now. Here's Kucherov. Poked away by Lekkonen and cleared all the way down by the Avs D. Uh, it's going to be another icing call, though, and we'll get another quick whistle. Another offensive zone faceoff coming for Tampa Bay. Taking it around now, off glass and out, cleared there. Brought up in the corner, deflected away by Vasilevsky. Hey, we got a dono from Sarah, dropping a 10 on the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get some hype in the chat for Sarah. Really, really appreciate it. That is awesome. Moved up now. Here's Tampa Bay out high. Falling down there, sending it to the corner. Here's Colorado. Moved up now. Here's Nachushkin over the red line into the offensive zone. Landeskog sends it deep. Colorado trying to come back the other way, but the lightning clear. They come up ice two on one. Tampa, Perry, pass across, and the shot's just sent wide. Grade A chance for the lightning, but they miss it wide. Back out to the neutral zone. Colorado trying to go back and get it. Taking it down now. Here's McCarr. He's pinched, but gets it out of the zone, back to neutral ice. Just about two minutes into this one. Moved back the other way. Palat cross corner. Taken by Manson and quickly deflected out of the zone by Colorado. 17.50 to go here in the third. Uh, I have no idea, Jack. That was a golden chance. No idea how he missed that. Around now to the corner. Here's Manson. Moves it to the middle. Up and out. Clear to the neutral zone. Ranton and trying to get it deep. He pressures Sergachev, but Sergachev comes away with the puck. Moved up now. Taken along the sideboards. Backhanded in. And that one's not cleared out. Good keep in there by... Tampa, looking to work it around. Fourth line on the ice. Maroon cycles to Nash. Nash to the near side. Played around out high. Belmar, long shot, deflects wide. And that's cleared back the other way. Here comes Colorado into the offensive zone. McKinnon, long shot in. That one deflected just high. Ends up behind the net. Just over three minutes in. Chance out in front. Vasilevsky, what a save! Big stop there on Nachushkin. Back the other way. Here's Kadri. Kadri shoots one off of McDonough. Played down low in the corner. Trying to work it around now. Played up and out to the neutral zone. Here's Hagel. Stolen away. Up ice. Here comes Kadri. Offensive zone. Shot! That one high off glass. 16-20 left. Colorado with some good pressure here. Trying to keep this as Landeskog. Sends that one down. Taken by Ruda. And Kalorn out of the zone. Clears it for Tampa. Colorado back in. Here's a chance in front. That deflects up and out of play. We'll get a whistle. 16.02 to go in the period. And a neutral... No, it should be actually a offensive zone faceoff coming here for Colorado. That was close at both ends. Both teams have had some really close calls here early in the third. Offensive zone faceoff now. Ranton in against Stamkos. Stamkos wins it back. Lightning trying to clear. It's out to the neutral zone for McCarr to play it. McCarr passes back to McKinnon. 
Played across now. Down low. Taken by Lekkinen. Here's McDonough. Trying to work this one around. Palat gives that one away in the middle. Here's a chance for Colorado. Shot misses as it's deflected up and out of play. Never got through. 15-39 to go in the third. Another ozone draw coming for the Avs. That one never even got in on Vasilevsky. It was blocked before it got there. We're down under 16 minutes now to go. Colorado with the 2-1 lead, trying to win their first Stanley Cup since 2001. The first Stanley Cup final I remember watching. 2001 when the Avalanche won. And they're trying to do it again here all these years later. 21 years later. Sports Geeks, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, he's been much better with uh, with Colorado, Jack, than he was at the end with Dallas. Playing it around now. Trying to move it up ice. Here's Tampa through the neutral zone. Over to Sergachev, who will dump it in. Played around now. Up it goes. Here's McCarr skating it. 15-15 to go in the third. And Tampa, good back check. Steals it away. Deflected away now. Here's Taves. Played up through the middle. Here's Nachushkin into the offensive zone. Gloved down by Vasilevsky. And he's going to have to cover that one up. It'll be an offensive zone faceoff coming for the Avalanche. Just under 15 minutes to go now in the third period. Colorado still with a 2-1 to one lead. And Vasilevsky has another issue here. Now he's getting a skate looked at. And that's giving some more time here. No, it's actually the how the, how the pad is connected to his skate. So there's a little bit of a delay here why Vasilevsky gets his equipment work done. Hurricane fan, what's going on? Welcome in. Daisy with the two, welcome. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. Let's get that dono hype in the chat for Daisy. Dropping a two on the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One back now. Played up out of the zone by Tampa Bay, over the red line, dumped in. Colorado gets it back. Moved up here and cleared back to Sergachev. Working it around now. And icing against the Lightning. Not a smart icing there by Tampa. And it's going to go back to their zone. It will be an offensive zone faceoff coming for the Avalanche. That I mean, there was no reason for the Lightning to ice the puck there. That was a dumb play. Offensive zone face-off. Trying to work it back. That pops out of the zone. Going back to get it now. Played by Lekkinen. Up into the offensive end. Colorado back on the attack. Big hit on McKinnon. Great job there by Chernak defensively. Kept in though at the blue line. Now on a second chance, Tampa gets it out. Taves will dump it back in and Chernak has to chase. Trying to go back and get this one. Working it down low. Hey, no worries, Daisy. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 14 minutes to go here in the third. Taken back by Jack Johnson. Colorado has possession. Neutral zone Landeskog. Red line and dumps it in. Work down low. Trying to play it behind the net. Here's Tampa looking to work it out. It's McDonough. 
Sends it up to Hagel. Hagel gets pressured, though, by Landeskog, but he can't get a shot off. Back the other way now. Here come the Lightning, but it's stolen by Kadri. Kadri in the offensive zone. Trying to work this one through. Here's a chance. Nachushkin! And a big stop there! Colorado still has it, though. Trying to work this one around. Putting on some pressure. Backdoor pass doesn't connect. Here's Kadri with a shot off the outside of the goal. Working this one around. Great shift here for the Avalanche. Cross to Byram. Working this one down in the corner. Landeskog to Nachushkin. 13-15 left. Out high. Over now to Byram. Byram fires a shot. That goes wide. Bounces out in front. Tampa first to it. And Hagel can't get it out of the zone. Here's Cogliano. Plays it around. He's off the bench. He's got fresh legs. Plays it back to the blue line. Byram rims it deep again. Helm down low. Trying to work this one around. Great pressure here from Colorado. Tampa's trying to get it out. Unable to so far as Cogliano plays it back to Helm. Helm takes a hit but sends it to the point. And now, long shot from O'Connor. That misses wide. Good night, Patricia. See you later. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Lifted up and out now. Out to the neutral zone. Brought into the offensive end. Helm with it. Working it down low here. Lightning looking to kick it up the boards. And here's Kalorno backhanded out over everybody. That's out in neutral zone. Now here's Tampa into the offensive end. It's taken back bow by Colorado as Byram plays it behind the net. 12.02 to go here in the third. Moving it up ice. Avalanche fan, what's going on? Appreciate you being here as Tampa sends that one back through the neutral zone. Played across. Back to get it is Sergachev. He's going to hold behind his net. Trying to work this one up. Tampa still doesn't have an official shot on goal in this period. They're trying to change that, obviously. Avalanche are out shooting them now 28-19. to Lead only by one, though, on the scoreboard, and that's what counts. Tampa is still just one shot away from tying this up. And there's 11.20 to go. Infamous Butcher, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Avs playing a very good third so far. Back out to the point. Long shot there. That's deflected up high and out. That goes into the netting. We'll get a whistle with 11.07 to go in the period. It will be an offensive zone faceoff for Tampa. Will we come back from this commercial break for our first commercial stoppage of the third period? And we're down now almost halfway through the third. It is crunch time for both of these teams. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Great to have everyone in the chat. Please don't forget it would mean a lot if you could hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I cover the entire NHL, so fans of all teams, welcome and wanted. Just trying to build a hockey community where everyone can come together, have fun, and enjoy some hockey. Adam, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Good to see you in the chat. Now, Colorado's had a strong third so far, Jack, but got to imagine that the, uh, the desperation level for Tampa is going to kick in here as this period goes along, and they know that they have to score a goal. So I think you're going to see a more desperate team as this period goes on. No, nothing is decided yet. Nothing is decided yet. Uh, Grace, what is going on? Welcome in. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jay Madam, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Elizabeth, welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. All right. We are back from the commercial break. Again, we've got about 11 minutes to go. Uh, Austin Matthews highlights. What's going on? Welcome in. 
Thank you for being here. We've got 11.07 left in the third. One back by Tampa. Offensive zone. It's poked away and out cleared there by Colorado. Good defense from them. Tampa's got to chase back to their own end. It's Sergachev. Sends it over. Hedman now trying to work it up. Played over the red line into the offensive end. That one rolls in on Kemper, and he's going to get the play whistle down here with 10.51 to go. Oh, exactly, Garrett. It's not over yet. Still got 10.51 left. That's plenty of time for a team to score a goal. This series, this game and series isn't going to be over until it says 0, 0, 0. Kirill, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. 10.45 to go in the third. Working this one now. Tampa through the neutral zone. Here they come up ice. Played around now. Trying to work it up. Taken into the offensive zone. Here comes Taves. Colorado on the attack as McKinnon fires. Winning glove save by Vasilevsky. Great stop there by Vasi. Grabs it with the glove. It will be an offensive zone faceoff coming for Colorado. Uh, Pokemon legend, good night. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, I believe so, Adam. I'm trying to think off the top of my head of the last one, but I believe it's happened. Um, Big D, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Awesome to see you in the chat. Appreciate it. Why? Good to have you here. Thank you for watching. Face off one back defensively by Tampa. Lifted up and out of the zone. Knocked down there by Byram. Lightning get it back. Back the other way now. Here's Nachushkin. Playing that one around. Down in the corner. Up the boards it goes. Colorado keeps it in for now. Lightning still trying to clear. We tick past a halfway point. Under 10 minutes to go now in the third. Colorado trying to hold the lead and win the Stanley Cup. Tampa needs a goal to at least tie it and force overtime. They're looking to force a game seven. Trying to play it up now around the boards. Playing it around. Back the other way. Here comes Nash into the offensive zone for the Lightning. Takes it around Johnson behind the net. Trying to make a play out in front. It ends up rolling into the side of the net. Kemper covers it. We get a little bit of a whistle here. And nine, nine, or a little bit of a scrum after the whistle. Excuse me, it is a whistle. A little bit of a scrum after the whistle. 9.19 to go in the period. It'll be an offensive zone faceoff coming for the Lightning when we come back from another commercial break. Philip, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Ricky, appreciate you watching. Commercial break here. Thank you guys all for watching. Awesome to have you in the chat. We're down now under 10 minutes to go. Colorado holding on to the 2-1 to one lead. Another awesome hockey game here tonight. This series has been fantastic. Some great games, some high-paced action, physical uh, this has just been an awesome, awesome series. We'll see if the Avs can finish it off or if the Lightning force that seventh game. Uh, I think they might have one now. Let me check quick. Yeah, they got one shot, uh, it, Dan. Bolts now have one shot in the period. All right, see you later, Grace. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, Risuki with the five. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. 
That is awesome. Let's get some dono hype in the chat for Risuki dropping a five on the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. That's awesome. Jerry, what's going on, man? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Great to have you in the chat. 9.19 to go in the third period. There's still a lot of hockey left to be played. This is not decided yet. Will be an offensive zone faceoff for the Lightning as they look for the tying goal. Taken, though, by the Avalanche. They look to work it out. They cannot. Kept in by the Lightning. Here's Kucherov. Now near side boards. Played up the... Played up and out all the way down. And icing against Colorado. 9.06 to go here in the third. Offensive zone draw again coming up for Tampa. One back now. Here's Kucherov. Plays it through to Sergachev. Back to get it. Lightning regrouping in their own zone. Edmund to the red line. Palat can't maintain possession. Colorado takes it. Here's Lekkinen. Trying to get it deep into the offensive zone. He's knocked down by Hedman, but keeps it to McKinnon. McKinnon out to Nachushkin. Trying to work this one. It's cleared out by Tampa. They send it all the way down. Byram's back to get it. Takes it behind his own net to regroup. 8.25 now to go in the third period. Colorado trying to bring it up ice. They would love an insurance goal to give themselves a little bit of breathing room. And that's an icing call against the Lightning with 8.13 to go. We get another whistle here. And an offensive zone faceoff coming for Colorado. I uh, appreciate it, Mike and Julie. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. and uh, Can't wait to talk again for sure. Yes, Newhook is playing as Vasilevsky's got to hold the post there. Landeskog with a good opportunity. And Vassy holds the post and covers that one up. It will be another offensive zone draw for Colorado. 8.03 left now in the, in the period. Possibly the game. We'll... So that's not that's not for sure yet. I am I am not going to be saying that this game is over until it is over. One back now. Byram takes a hit to move it around. Up the boards it goes. Moving it around. Hey, thank you, Uriel. Thank you for watching. Awesome to have you here. Really appreciate it. Taking it down low now. Here's Tampa in the offensive zone. Played down low. Yeah, I mean, obviously an injured Braden point is a big, big factor. I mean, the past two playoffs where Tampa's won the cup, Braden points had 14 goals in each of those playoffs. So, I mean, he's, he's a crucial part of the team, and him being injured obviously plays a role, no doubt. But, every, I mean, that's hockey. That's sports. Everybody goes through injuries. Everybody deals with stuff. Um, sometimes teams get hit harder than others, and that's just the way it goes. Moved out high. Moving it over here. Trying to work it. Played out there by Nico Sturm. 6.50 now to go in the third. That one gets wrapped around. Played up the boards now. JT Confer by him all the way down. It's going to be icing. And with 6.44 left, it's an icing call against Colorado. Tampa gets another offensive zone faceoff. Uh, no, Robert. They are in Tampa for this one. They are in Tampa right now. Danny, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get some new sub hype in the chat for Danny. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Ozone draw again here for Tampa. They win it back, but it splits the D. And here come the Lightning now. Went back into the offensive zone. Here's a chance over to Kucherov. Shot and a big save there by Kemper. Wow, that was one of Kemper's uh, most clutch saves, to say the least. Comes across and makes a nice stop there on Kucherov to keep this a one-goal lead for Colorado. That's a big save there for Darcy Kemper. He's... Uh, Subhype Dustin, thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Mean Girl Hockey, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. And that's cleared again by Colorado. And they wave off the icing as Sergachev tried to milk that one. The linesman was having none of it. Lightning bring it back up ice now. On the back check, it's stolen away by the Avs. They clear it to the neutral zone. Played over now. And taken back by Colorado as they have it over the red line. Dumped by Taves. Under six minutes now to go here in the third. Trying to work it up. Colorado has it. D to D. Playing this one through. Tampa now. 540 left. Lightning through the neutral zone. Played up and cleared again by Colorado. They're sitting back. They're, I don't like the way Colorado's sitting back in their own zone here. 526 still to go in the third. It's going to be a whistle here on an offsides against Tampa. I don't like the way Colorado's just kind of back in their own zone here. That's, that's not a winning formula. You got to keep your foot on the gas. You can't just sit back. Tampa will eat you alive if you do that. Hey, Jamie, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Uh, G and K, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for watching. Awesome to have you. No, Braden Point is not playing. We have gone to our final commercial break here of the third period. Colorado with a 2-1 to one lead. And they are holding trying to hold on here patrick what's going on welcome yanni welcome in thank you for being here really appreciate it final commercial of this third period colorado with the lead right now thank you guys all for watching it's awesome to have you in the chat um please don't forget it really means a lot if you can hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet i cover the entire nhl so fans of all teams are welcome and wanted. Just trying to build a hockey community where everyone can come together, have some fun, and enjoy hockey. Balloon Boy, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Good to see you in the chat. Really appreciate it. Um... Probably around the two-minute mark, Dan, I would think. Mohammed, what's going on? John, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. 526 to go in the third. We're back from the commercial. Harry, what's going on? Welcome. Neutral zone face-off. Hey, thank you, Porfirio. Appreciate it. Good to have you here. Uh, that's the coach decides when to pull the goalie pan. As Tampa's into the offensive zone, here's Hedman. Played back around. Sergachev long shot. That just deflects wide. Real good opportunity there. Colorado trying to clear. Lift that one up over everybody and out. Tampa takes it back in their own zone. Sergachev plays it up to Perry. Into the offensive end. Here's Colton. His shot gets blocked. Darren Helm trying to get it out. He does. Colorado needs a line change. They get a, most of it. Brought up now. Perry will dump it in. Brady, what's going on? Welcome. Fear Clan, welcome in. 
Play it around now. Under five minutes to go in the third period. 4.42 to go. Tampa needs a goal to tie it. Colorado trying to hold this lead to win the Stanley Cup. Played by Perry. Back to Chernak. He sends it through to Palat, who dumps it into the offensive zone. Chasing hard after it. Heavy into the end boards. Players collide. And now there's a scrum for it down in the corner. Up to Lekkanen. And Lekkanen clears the zone for Colorado. Ranton is going to chase after it. No icing. It doesn't reach. Played around now. Stolen away from McDonough. Can't get the pass through. It was Ranton in front, though. Back the other way. Here's a chance for the Lightning. They can't maintain possession. Into the offensive zone. Landeskog. He gets by Hedman. Landy now holding it in the corner. This is a good place to be if you're Colorado. Down in the offensive zone. Sean, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, Renee, welcome. Thank you for watching. Toivo, welcome. Thank you for being here. Good to see you in the chat. Back around now. Behind the net. 3.33 to go in the third period. Lightning out of their zone. No, they turn it over. Here's a chance for Colorado, but Helm not able to get anything on the shot. He fans on it. Played around now. Tampa still can't get it out of their end. Brought up and back out to the neutral zone. Kicked away. Played by the Lightning. Here they come up ice. It's Nash into the offensive zone. Three minutes to go in the third period. Colorado plays it down low. It's Helm to Cogliano. Cogliano backhands it out. Up ice. Here comes O'Connor into the offensive end. Pressured by Chernak to the outside. Just maintains possession and sends it deep. Under three minutes now to go in the third. Look for Tampa to pull the goaltender if they can get the puck in the offensive zone. Trying to play it here. 2.35 to go in the third. Back out high. Here's a shot. That one gets blocked. Lightning have it. And that's out to the neutral zone. Here's Hagel. He chips it deep. Down low in the corner. Good hit on the forecheck by Sorelli. Trying to work it around in the offensive zone. Hedman out high. Over to the other side. That one's knocked down. Colorado to it. And they clear. 2.15 left in the third. Trying to play it up now. Vassy comes to the bench. Empty net now for the Lightning. 2-1 lead still for Colorado with two minutes to go. And they're out of the zone. They clear. Out to the neutral zone. Hedman trying to send it back. There's 150 to go here in the third. Do the Lightning have a tying goal in them? Does Colorado win the Stanley Cup for the first time in 21 years? Pass across to Kucherov. Shot in. That one's blocked. Big shot block there by Landeskog. Chance in front and off glass trying to clear it out of the zone. Colorado gets it down. Uh, the, uh, Hedman gets it back in his own end. Still a minute 25 to go. Playing it here now is Eric Johnson. He wraps it up the boards. And Tampa can't keep it in. That goes all the way down. And it is going to be icing against the Avalanche. 115 to go. Icing against the Avalanche. Lightning will have an offensive zone faceoff with the extra attacker on. And Tampa is going to have a chance. I assume they're probably using their timeout here. They still have a minute 15 in an offensive zone faceoff to try and uh, get this thing tied up. One fifteen left, like I just said. CNM, if you spam in the chat again, you're going to get banned. Offensive zone faceoff. One back to Hedman. He almost turns it over. Here's Paul with a spin around shot and they make a stop. And it's back out to the neutral zone. Tampa's got to regroup. Lightning have it over the red line. They dump it back in. One minute to go in the third. 
Trying to get it out here. Tampa keeps it for now. Final minute looking for the tying goal. 50 seconds left. Lightning trying to dig this out. Avalanche happy to just watch this clock run down. Up the boards. Nachushkin can't get to it. It's taken by Kucherov. Top of the circle. Shot gets blocked. Out to the point. Kucherov again. It's blocked again. McKinnon first to it. Lifts it all the way down. Is that on goal? No, it rolls wide. And it is going to no. No icing. Back now. Final 20 seconds. Third period. Hedman brings it up. Tampa into the offensive zone. And they can't keep it there. The Avs get it back out. 10 seconds to go. The Lightning are in their own end. Working this one down. Final seconds in the 2022 Stanley Cup champions are the Colorado Avalanche for the first time in 21 years. And the Avalanche win it in six. And they win the Stanley Cup. And this one is over. The lightning streak ends in the avalanche win. And Colorado is the Stanley Cup champions. Congratulations to the avalanche. Kale McCarr is a Stanley Cup champion. Nathan McKinnon, Gabe Landeskog, Miko Rantanen, Eric Johnson. After being drafted first overall in 2006, is now a Stanley Cup champion. Darcy Kemper was not perfect in these playoffs. He was far from perfect, but he made the stops when he needed to and won enough games for the Colorado Avalanche to win. What a moment here. What a moment. What a game. What a series. And Colorado is the Stanley Cup champions. And Joe Sackick, who won two Stanley Cups with Colorado as a player has now won a Stanley Cup with Colorado as their general manager. What an incredible series. I have to say, this, is, this has been my favorite final in a long time. This, has, this was my favorite final in a long, long time. What a series. And the Colorado Avalanche are the Stanley Cup champs. So I'm going to stay live through the trophy presentation because, I mean, it's it's the Stanley Cup. And I there is enough, there's nothing more amazing in hockey than the Stanley Cup. So I'll be staying live. But for those of you that may not be, thank you guys so much. Really, really appreciate everybody watching. All the support this season. Uh, all the support throughout these playoffs it's been absolutely incredible and uh thank you guys so so much please don't forget it really means a lot if you get that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and uh it really helps the channel is greatly appreciated but i'm gonna stay live here through the trophy presentation and uh really appreciate all of you guys thank you thank you thank you also we've got a massive dono hype for jerry who dropped a hundred on the stream Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jerry. Your support has been absolutely incredible. Uh, it is the last broadcast of the season, but uh, Jerry says, I want to take the opportunity to say thank you for all you did this year. Great job. I look forward to next season, maybe catching another game with you as well. Have a great summer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jerry. Um, awesome to have you a part of the channel community. It was awesome to get to go to some games in Boston with you this year. And definitely would love to do it again next year. Um, and awesome to have you on the channel. Thank you so much. Also, John tipped a 10 as well. So we need some dono hype in the chat for John as well. 
dropping a 10 on the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. And uh, Ben, thank you so much. Awesome to have you here. Uh, I can't possibly, I mean, we got like 400 plus people in the chat right now. I can't, I'm, I I'll, I know so many of you are saying, uh, you know, saying great job and thank you and all of that. I'm trying to, I can't possibly say everyone name by name. Um, but to all of you who have supported this channel for however long, maybe you're new to the channel tonight. Maybe you've been here since 2017 when I started. Um, all of you who support the channel, who are a positive part of the community here, who uh, who are, are just here making this channel a great place to enjoy hockey and have fun with a bunch of other hockey fans as well. Thank you for making this channel what it is because I would not be able to do that without all of you. This channel would not exist without all of you who show all your support and so and you know watch this channel support this channel everything subscribe all of it um this channel would not exist without you i would not be able to put in the time that i do if there was no audience so you guys make this happen so thank you guys so 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 much you guys are all incredible really appreciate it we got another dono hype in the chat for fabian thank you thank you thank you really appreciate it um there will be content in the off season. Uh, it will not be as much content as during the during when hockey's going on. Obviously, uh, I am very much looking forward to take taking a little bit of a break um, now for a little while here. Um, I do expect to be live for the first round of the draft, however, which I believe is July seventh. Um, I, I am pre expecting to be live for the first round night of the draft, which should be a fun stream. Uh, and I have, I have a, I have a plan in place where I'm thinking of right now for a format for that stream, like how I'm going to do it rather than just me sitting here talking. Um, well, no, I'll be sitting here talking, but I'm going to have some more added stuff to it. So, um, I have a, I'm thinking of a plan for that. Game Hunter, happy birthday. Thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Jack, thank you so much, man. You're a legend on the channel. Love having you here, dude. And uh, yeah, you've been supporting for such a long time now. Thank you so much. Have a great night yourself. It's been awesome to uh, have another season with you on the channel. Um, uh but uh, anyway, guys, thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this series, I'm very happy to see Colorado win. Um, obviously, if Tampa had won, it would have been historic. And, th you know, that would have been a great storyline as well with them winning three in a row. Uh, but I am very personally, because Colorado has been my favorite team since I was a little kid, uh, I'm very, very happy to see Colorado win this year, man. To see players that I love like Nate McKinnon and Kale McCarr win a cup. Also, Joe Sackick win as a general manager. Um, he was my favorite player when I was a little kid, four, five, six years old. Joe Sackick was my favorite player. Um, and uh, to see him win as a general manager now is also awesome. So I'm very happy about that. I would have loved a, a seventh game, obviously, because game, game sevens are incredible, but... I'm I'm very pleased with Colorado winning and uh man what a what a game what a win what a series again this is my favorite this is my favorite final in a, in quite a while that I can remember Uh hey wrist rider with the 10 thank you so much let's get some hype for wrist rider thank you thank you thank you uh, yeah, no, don't worry. Once hockey starts again next season, guys, I'll be back streaming again. There'll be plenty more streams coming your way. Um, but there's going to be a little bit of a break now. Um, I will be live again, like I said, hopefully for the first round of the draft. Other than that, I'm not quite sure what the plan is for the off season yet, but there will be content. I promise you guys that this channel never goes completely dormant for any long period of time. Um, there might be... There might be some, uh, there might be some, some spots where, you know, maybe I'm gone for a week or maybe I'm gone for a weekend, but 
there will definitely be content in the off season. Um, uh, today us, thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. Let's get some dono hype in the chat for today us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. Dropping a 50 on the stream. All right, we're back from the commercial now. It's going to be trophy presentation time. Uh, Zeno, what's going on? Welcome in. Thanks for coming by. Really appreciate it. Good to have you in the chat. It is about time for them to put out, uh, bring out the trophies here. They'll be doing, obviously, the Conn Smythe and then, and then the Stanley Cup. DET, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right. Con Smythe. Kale McCarr is your Con Smythe winner. Kale McCarr is your Con Smythe winner for playoff MVP. And he had 29 points, which was third most in the in the entire NHL in the playoffs. And he's a defenseman. So I, I figured McCarr was going to get it. Um, Kale McCarr, extremely well-deserved. Kale McCarr is now the best D-man in the NHL. Um, I think he will win multiple Norris trophies. Maybe multiple Stanley Cups, and I Kale McCarr has taken over as my top defenseman in the NHL. All right, good night, Dan. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Awesome to have you. All right, it's going to be uh, cup time now. Here it comes. They're carrying... They're carrying out the cup. God. Great, greatest trophy ever. Just what an absolutely incredible trophy. Hey, love all. What's going on? Welcome in. All right, see you later, Grace. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Vernon. Appreciate it. Was an incredible season for sure. Uh, Toivo, have a good night. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. All right, Bill Daly's about to hand it off. Gabriel Landeskog, who's the captain uh, of the Avalanche, will be the first player. Well, normally would be the first player, although it looked like McKinnon might have been going over there.
Usually the captain gets the cup first, which would be Landeskog. But McKinnon just skated that way, but I think Landeskog's got to be the first one to take this. It's always the captain. And there goes Landeskog. He will be the first one to get it. McKinnon gave him a big shove over there. That's why that's why Nathan McKinnon was going that way. McKinnon gave Landeskog a big shove over there and said, go get it, buddy. Oh, look at this. They got a fireworks show. Uh, there'll be a there'll be a few changes, Brian, but most of the core is still uh under contract. So yes, I would. Most of the group will be staying together, but they do have a few contracts to do. Well, Kadri's a free agent, Nachushkin's a free agent, Kemper's a free agent. So they do they are they do have potential to lose some, but like a majority of the team should be sticking together. And Landis Scott gives it to Eric Johnson. Like I said, first overall pick in 2006. All these years later, finally gets a chance to raise the cup. And Eric Johnson gets it right after Landeskog. Then Johnson hands it over to Andrew Cogliano, another veteran player who has been in the NHL for a long time, getting down now to the last few seasons of his career. And he finally gets to lift the Stanley Cup. He played in Edmonton. He played in Anaheim. He played in Dallas. But it's Colorado that gets him a Stanley Cup. Nathan McKinnon gets it after Cogliano. Mac Attack, one of the best players in the NHL. Finally. Been working for this for so long. Uh, I do love their old ones, Dustin. I, I mean, I like their current ones too, but I love their old ones. Jack Johnson is going to get it next. Jack Johnson, another guy, again, such a tumultuous NHL career. Never really lived up to his, uh, never lived up to his draft status, but had an extremely good season this year with Colorado. Played very well defensively in the playoffs as well. Nazem Kadri gets it next with his thumb all taped up. I bet it doesn't hurt right now as he lifts that cup. Kadri, who's a free agent. We don't know if he's going to be back with the Avs or not. Kadri wins it with Colorado. Yeah, Jack Johnson you know, has had very up and down NHL career. Some off the ice stuff he's had to deal with, and for him to win, Andre Burakovsky gets it next. Uh, not that I know of, shady side, but I don't know for sure. Andre Burakovsky did not play in the last number of games in this series. Darcy Kemper gets it after Burakovsky. Again, Kemper had some downs in these playoffs. He was not perfect. But at the end of the day, he won enough games to win. And he played great tonight. Miko Rantanen gets it after Darcy Kemper. Rantanen's first Stanley Cup. Another great player for Colorado. He's going to hand it off now. And it goes to Darren Helm. Now, I believe Darren Helm was on the 2008 Detroit Red Wings that won the Stanley Cup. So this is the second time Helm's won it. But obviously, no, years and years later. I mean, he won it very early in his career with Detroit. And he won it now towards the end of his career, later in his career with Colorado. Devon Taves had it next. And then Taves hands it off. Val Nachushkin 
that's where all the names are engraved, Fabian. That's where all the names from each team that wins it uh, get their names engraved on the cup. Over now to Pavel Francouz, the backup goaltender who actually had to do quite a bit in these playoffs. He played in a number of games. Kemper missed some time with injury. Francouz, backup goaltender. Yeah, Helm had won with Detroit and Burakovsky had won with uh, the Capitals. That's right. All right, sounds good, Pan. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, no, Avi, they take a top band off. They've run out of room a bunch of times, but rather than just make it longer, they take the top band off. So the, so the oldest band goes off when they have to put a new one on. And then the old bands go to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Josh Manson with it now. Yeah, uh, Francois was perfect in the games that he started. Josh Manson was a trade deadline de acquisition from Anaheim. I bet he is certainly happy that trade was made. I have not been to Toronto, Jerry, no. Uh, yes, his dad, Dave Manson, played in the NHL a long time uh, and is now an assistant coach with the Oilers. Yeah, I'm not listening to this absolute moron whine about the refs anymore. Go cry to your mommy, you little baby. You lost. Get over it. Masked Mage, what's going on? Welcome in. Big win for Colorado. Mikado, what's going on? Ryan Murray did not play a lot. Didn't play at all in the playoffs. Didn't play a whole lot in the regular season either. Depth defenseman. Yeah, Colorado's gotten pretty deep into their lineup now. Uh, yeah, now M Curtis McDermott has it. He didn't play in the playoffs either. He played quite a bit in the regular season, but did not play in the playoffs. Um, so Colorado's kind of gone through... Colorado's kind of gone through a lot of their guys. Uh, now, oh, here's Bowen Byram, the rookie. Gets it late. Uh, he's one of the last ones to get it, obviously being a younger guy. He hands it off to Alex Newhook, who's also obviously one of the younger guys. But uh, that is going to do it. Uh, yeah, ESPN or ABC signing off with their coverage anyway. Congratulations. To the Colorado Avalanche, the 2022 Stanley Cup winners. They do it on the road in Tampa, game six. And that is going to do it for this hockey season. Thank you guys all so much. I cannot thank you enough for all the support this season. I'll be doing an end of year video as well where I, I talk more about that. But again, this channel would not happen without you. So thank you guys again so much. Content is going to be a little more sporadic now that, uh, that the season's over, but there will be content in the off season. My next live stream I'm planning on is going to be the first round of the draft, uh, which I believe is July 7th. So uh, I do want to go live for the first round. And there'll be other content throughout the off season as well. So don't go anywhere. There'll still be hockey stuff coming your way, but it's going to be a little bit more sporadic and less now that the season is over. Once we get back into next season, I'll go right back into streaming games, you know, multiple times a week and all the usual stuff. So 
Thank you guys again so much. Really, really appreciate it. I am going to sign off tonight. I'll talk to you. I'll do an end of year video here within the next few days. And uh, I'll talk to you guys about, uh, your, you know, end of the year stuff, stuff for next year, all of that. And uh, that will do it. But thank you guys again. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're still stuck around this long, I assume that you're already subscribed and part of the channel. So I'm not going to go through all that again. Have a great night. Thank you so, so much for all your incredible support. Hope you guys have a great uh, week coming up. And uh, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys soon, whether it's in a comment section or on a stream for the draft or whenever I see you guys again. I'm always on social media too. You guys can always send me a message or, or you know, just say, hey, what's up? All the socials are down here in the corner of the um, video, Instagram, Twitter. I have a Facebook page as well. I don't use that as much, but um, Instagram and Twitter are there. Thank you guys again. Have a great night. Have a great week. And hopefully I'll be, it won't be too long before I get to talk to you all again. Good night, everybody. And see you next time. Congratulations, Colorado.